police football. Like, like he made me like he wasn't playing in my favor. So I switched over to another team. You feel me? That's, then that team that's a good analogy. Then, then he tried to get a new running back. You know what I'm saying? And then I didn't fuck with the team that I traded. So <laughs> he didn't fuck with him. I be so sick of him when he say this type of stuff. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Creating shit about a football team and the first runner up, the running back, and all of this. No, that was my analogy for real. I got on the phone. I didn't even know he used that. He I'm said that supposed... in the interview. For real? He, he said you he said when the first string ain't acting right, something along those lines, you put the second string in. Oh, everything. Right in front. Okay, let me stop. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The second string is nothing but you know what I'm talking about? Like the start running back shouldn't be starting no more. Like <laughs> what the fuck is he about? <laughs> no, but I, I feel what he's saying, but it was mutual for real. Like as much as he wanted to switch me out, I wanted to leave. But I felt like he had the sense of me no he the type to know that I'm already about to go. And he like, all right, what's my plan next? You feel me? Cause I was trying, I was trying to be one of those bitches. Like, all right, I'm gonna last. Time, I'm gonna put my foot down, say fuck you, and then really leave. You feel me? I try. <laughs> you was doing a good job though, doing your own thing. The nigga wouldn't even let you. Every morning, four o'clock, here I am getting woke up because he doing something or calling or popping up. Nigga leaving henny bottles outside, taking babies, doing the most, crying about you. What you doing? Where you at? No matter what he's doing, he's always talking about you. It doesn't matter. So that's obvious that but vice he's doing it out of progress and towards the right direction. Yeah, because, like, um, not like that, but, I like, he don't need me. I don't need him type shit. You feel me? We want each other at this point. Like, I don't need him to drop any music. I don't need him to buy a house or a car. For, like, I don't need him for shit. But Y'all better together, stronger together. Yeah, type shit. And I you feel can't like wait that, for y'all uh, to be dropping away, music. No, because right before, like right before, um, so when he stole that baby, right, my baby, yo, when he stole my baby, that day, um, I was trying to come on common grounds with everybody because I don't want that to happen again to me. And then too, I'm not a weird bitch. Like, say if that's your bitch and you trying to really represent. Okay, who's watching the baby? Because I'm about to leave him over here with y'all. What? Right. I put hey. the cameras up in the house to make sure he good. What? what? Don't give me that bitter Not baby mama. Bitter. Uh, yeah, don't give me that. Like, as soon as I notice one thing, a hair missing from my son, yeah, that's all y'all ask. But I, I, I would like to give, like, as a respectable. But you know how, like, when I was pregnant, they was, like, you know, it didn't look like it was a healthy thing to do, like, to co-parent with these motherfuckers. And then, turns out, it was a whole fraud. Like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a lot of everybody. It's all obvious. Huh? You can see if you if you can see, you can see. That's it. Because you never really been bitter. You always wanted him to see his kids and be with his kids, and that's what it means. That's how you know you a real woman and you love the man. Oh, really you know? Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I put it on the flow. Thank you, thank you to all my subscribers. And what I say on this page is alleged and is in my description box. Um, I want to give a shout out to Hot Tea, Hot Chocolate. This is who Krishan was on live with. And question: Do you guys think Blueface is stronger? together with him and rock or solo dolo or do y'all think this is just a toxic love i don't know that's what someone was saying in the comment section okay but it sounds like to me blueface has something to do with chris john rock playing flag football y'all let me know she had her first game and i heard it was lit good job rock you know doing something she always loved or whatever i don't know last i know um Rock was a good track player and Blueface played football, so whatever, it's cool. But um, basically on this live, they was just addressing how Chris Sean was leaving Blueface alone and how Blueface was acting towards her, popping up at her house, wanting to do this to her and do that. Y'all remember when he popped up and he took Junior and all this extra stuff. And um, after all that in um, incident happened, Rock really wanted to co-parent with Blueface and Jaden. She was done with all the bull crap because she didn't want nothing else to happen. And y'all remember that incident, okay? But basically what Rock was saying is that it was all fake. So, do y'all really think 
Jaden and Blueface is really just co-parenting at this time because we have not heard anything from Jaden. All she shows us is um, her brand, her doing what she's doing, uh, taking the kids to see Blue, which is Javon. And as we see at this court, Blue held Junior, you know, Rock helped him hold the baby or whatever. And Journey just yelled her daddy's name. So do y'all really think they are just really co-parenting and everything that was happening in our eyes was all fake? And Rock was just pulled in all the bull crap. And she just played along after she found out the stuff was fake, you know, because it was all for a bag. And we all know Rock is not no bitter type female. She loved the kids. So she always wanted Blue to be able to take care of his kids and see his kids she was you know she was cool with that she was receptive of being okay the woman and him and Jaden co-parenting but yeah y'all so basically this live was just basically talking about how Rock was you know willing to um co-parenting and Blue was doing all this extra and everything him and Jaden was doing was fake all this extra stuff so yeah so, um, that's basically what I got out of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And, um, basically, you know, Rock saying that Blue and her is better together. That's what the other girl said, hot tea, hot chocolate says. So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. Do y'all think Jaden and um, Blueface are really co-parenting? And Rock and Blue is really a couple, guys. And Blueface is going home to his woman and Junior. And he just going to co-parent and take care of Journey and Javon, you know separately okay and still go see Jaden and see what's up because don't forget she is signed to the record label um yeah guys so that's what I got out of this live and if it is that then that's cool okay we already know Rock came out and said everything was fake after she found out that it was fake and um it was all for a bag and Jaden was all in the plan and Jaden and Blue is really co-parented and Rock and Blueface are really a couple and they're going to make it work. And if they are, kudos to them. I'm happy for Rock and I'm happy for Blue and Blueface just going to take care of all his kids. And hey, it is. It is what it is. And the circus is just going to be a blended circus. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know if y'all think um, Blue is really going home to rock. And him and Jaden at this point of time is just co-parented. Because Jaden has not posted anything about him or nothing. So And she just out there getting the bag and, you know, staying relevant and waiting on Blue to get out to make more music. All right, guys. Um, happy Sunday and have a blessed day, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Bye.